Hi guys, I'm Andrea and today I thought I'd do the Netflix book tag and if there's any two things I love in the world, it's binging things on Netflix and reading books. So this is the perfect tag for me. So let's get started. Okay, number one, recently watched. The last book you finished reading. The last book I finished reading was actually this book right here and it's called Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. And this book is the basis for the Blade Runner cinematic universe. And although it has some of the same characters and some of the same settings, it's not the same story. So if you're interested in the films, definitely check this book out. It's super short. Number two, top picks. A book or slash book that has been recommended to you based on a book you've previously read. And for me, that would have to be Vicious by V.E. Schwab from the Villain series. And I might be the last person on earth who has not read these books yet. But um, my friend recommended it to me like a week ago and she thought I'd be super interested in it because I love things that involve superpowers and like conspiracies and like, you know, all that kind of stuff, fantasy, sci-fi. So I'm excited to read it. Yeah. Number three, recently added, the last book I bought. The last book I bought was Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and I bought it on ebook format. And the cover I think is just stunning, it looks so beautiful. But I'm also interested in the world um, the story takes place in and I'm very excited to get into it and read it. For popular on Netflix, books that everyone knows about, two you read and two you have not or have no interest in reading. Okay, so two books I think everybody's read is, <laughs> is uh, Hunger Games series and The Perks of Being a Wallflower and two books that I have not read. Um, the Merciless series, I have not read those books, even though I do want to. I have been planning on buying them and reading them, but I just haven't. And I've been putting it off for so long, and I know I like it. I know I like it, but I just have I read Daniel's other book, um, Survive the Night, and I, I liked it. So, I mean, I should, but I haven't. And the other book series, I have not read Divergent. And I haven't read Divergent because I tried reading Divergent and I just couldn't get into it. It wasn't my cup of tea and I tried watching the movie and I didn't like the movie either, so yeah. Number five, comedies. A funny book. Um, a funny book that I've read is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. And it's my favorite John Green book. I think that all the characters in that novel are comedic in different ways and I enjoy that about that. It's not the same type of comedy over and over again. Each character brings something else to the table. So yeah. Number six, dramas. A character who is a drama queen or king. And I'm gonna go with The Princess Diaries. Mia from The Princess Diaries is literally from the royal family. She's royalty and she's like the biggest drama queen on the planet. She's so dramatic. Can you, can you see? If you guys haven't read this book, and you've only watched a movie, you have to read this book. Like, she writes in all caps and stuff like that. Like, same. Um, seven, animated. A book with cartoons on the cover. So I don't own a lot of graphic novels. I only own one graphic novel, and that is Twilight. I bought this a really long time ago, and it was very dusty somewhere in the middle of my room, but, um, the illustrations are actually pretty nice. They're by Young Kim. And yeah, this is the only graphic novel I've ever read. I need to get into that. Um, watch it again. A book or series that you want to read. There's this book I read called More Than This by Patrick Ness and it came out in 2013, I believe. But when I read it for the first time, I was so mind blown. I went into it knowing nothing. I literally knew nothing. And then I left with like a mini existential crisis. It deals with like the concept of afterlife and all these things and it's very heavy topics. And it's pretty good. That's all I can say, but if you haven't read that book, you should read that book. Also, yeah, because I read it once, I only read it the once, so I would love to reread it again. And I would love to reread it again with the knowledge that I already have now at the end of the book. Number nine, documentaries. A non-fiction book you'd recommend to everybody. A non-fiction book that I would recommend, I'm trying to reach for it, oh my God. 
non-fiction book I'd recommend to everybody would be Hiroshima by John Hersey and this is a journalistic retelling I guess you can say of the Hiroshima bombings um, it go follows through six yeah six different people's accounts on before during and after the bombs and John Hersey is just like a master at letting his subjects speak through his words or through the pages and I think it's so important number 10 action adventure an action-packed book for this one I would probably have to pick Dark Matter by Blake Crouch I read this probably three months ago but the entire book is a guessing game from start to finish it's like this time dimension hopping an adventure that doesn't really stop not like not even at the ending it's continues beyond the book, so, yeah. New releases. A book that just came out or will be coming out soon that you can't wait to read. Uh, that would have to be Artemis by Andy Weir, and I'm a really big fan of his short story, The Egg. It's probably my favorite short story that I've read in my entire life, but I'm a really big fan of that short story, and I really like The Martian as well, so I'm excited to see where this new book will take us. So yeah, and then number 13, or number 12, whoa, tag some people. I tag everybody watching this. If you haven't done this video, do it. Thanks. But yeah, that was my Netflix book tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And that was a car. Yay, bye guys.